Hello, this video is going to show you how to bring in multiple Excel files into R. So a lot of times what you have to do, you're getting a lot of Excel files and you have to go in, save them as CSVs in order to upload them. Uh, so uh, we're going to make it a lot easier so you could bring in multiple um, Excel files as long as they're all in one folder, bring them in at the same time. Uh, you will need two, uh, two packages, uh, which would be read Excel and tidyr. I will put that in the description. So let's go ahead and activate those. And let's clean up the environment. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to do, so all the files that I need are in, uh, in this uh, working directory. So I'm going to do uh, list.files and I'm going to set pattern equal to a star dot XLS. And I'm going to name this variable my files. All right, so you can see right here, you can see there's four, uh, it says one through four, there's four Excel files. And if I just type in my files and I run that, here's the four Excel files that, um, that are in that folder. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to we're going to do um, pretty much a loop uh, function uh, in order to get for it to pull every Excel file. So it's going to be we're going to name this MBA. So we're going to do L apply and my files, which is basically uh, that list of files, and we're going to do function I. Right, and then inside we want to X to equal read Excel so that's from the read Excel package so it's reading Excel and we want it to pull sheet one and then once it pulls that that first Excel we also want it to call it the name of the file so what we're using is actually the we're using four basketball teams uh, the, the players for the their players for the eight 2018 season so when the, uh, the Bucks for example for the uh, for the Bucks we want that file to, to also be named the bucks or to be a, uh, there'd be a column for that data to say bucks, same thing for the warriors, for those players to have warriors next to their name. All right, and then we're gonna, then it'd be uh, return the data X. So once we run this, we get a list of four the four items in the list. All right, so if we want to see one of them, you do double brackets. We could do one. If we do one, we could see that it's uh, some of the the Bucks players show up, and you could change this to you know if you just want to preview the data. You can now see the Raptors. Well, the Raptors data. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to uh, we want to combine all four Excel sheets into one. So we just do MBA equals do dot call, and then open parentheses in quotes R bind dot data dot frame, and the name of our of our data which is MBA. And once we run this. We now have a data frame with the players, the 2018 players for all four of those NBA teams. So if you want to see who was the youngest player out of those four teams that played at least uh, that played at least one game, or that was on the that was on the roster. So it looks like it was Trevin Duvall, who was the oldest, Pau Gasol. Uh, if we want to know uh, who scored the most three pointers, James Harden, Steph Curry, then Clay Thompson. Uh, so a lot of analysis can be can be done, but after you merge the data, and as you can see here, how there's a uh, how it shows file, and uh, one thing we'd want to clean up is remove that dot xlsx, uh, but that could be done a little later. Uh, more importantly. It's just how to save you time, how to uh, bring in multiple files 
that need to be combined, um, you know, how to bring in multiple Excel files at the same time. All right, thank you for watching. If you found this, uh, this video helpful, uh, please subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching.